Good morning, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today I am in London, England, uh, outside of London, about two hours at the uh, Groundswell Conference. This is held, I think this is possibly the seventh year. Um, I was here in 2018. Anyway, it's grown. It's grown a lot. Uh, the Cherry Brothers, uh, John and Paul, put this on every year. And uh, Jan and I came in yesterday, and I'm going to be giving a talks over the next two days and some pasture walks. And man, I can't believe the people that we've met here. Um, this is what we're doing. We're glamping. I've never done that before. So it's a new experience. But you know, it wasn't so bad. Uh, we got good thick cushions and an awesome tent. Thought it might get a little chilly last night, but they had a good setup for us. And uh, they got showers here and bathrooms and no electricity. You just have a little, you know, battery powered lamp and uh, just a little table. But you know, you don't, you don't need a whole lot. Um, there's the big top over there. That's where I'm gonna be speaking today. Uh, look at all the tents in here. They were up till, I think it was almost midnight last night, the Groundswell group um, putting putting up more tents. I mean, there must be, gosh, there's over a hundred tents here. Never seen them quite this shape before. Um, it's early. I'm kind of an early riser. I got up and went and uh, got a good shave in, washed my face, and then sitting there to get my phone charged up. There's not. You got to kind of watch where you get electricity around here. But they got they got some big generators, and they're stationed all over the the whole campground. But uh, anyway, I went last night after eating. We had this wonderful banquet. My goodness. The cherries are just unbelievable in their organization. They put on a, a feast last night. It was one of these things where you sit down and they just keep bringing all this wonderful locally grown food. And uh, to top it off at the end last night, I can't even tell you everything that was in there. But to top it off, they had these huge T-bone steaks. They were like, I don't know, they must have been two to three inches thick, seemed like. And they cooked them perfectly. I mean, golly, they were grilled just to the perfect T. Really tender, just super, super quality eating. And good, good fellowship and of all things when I sat down at the table big long tables in this old barn and um you just you know we got there late Jan and I did but they set us down and I'm sitting next to Jill Clapperton the the soil guru I mean Jill's one of the pioneers in this movement and she's here to give a talk today as well and uh that was pretty cool sitting talking with Jill while we're eating dinner and Anyway, I came back over here late. We had some folks that, or I had a guy coming in. It was actually William, William Emerson, the young man from the Cumbria area. He got in late, wouldn't know if we could meet down there. So went down to the, uh, they have a, a little area down at the pub and it's on the grounds. And uh, my goodness, I couldn't believe the people that started coming up to me here in England it was unbelievable and it's all YouTube they're they're following me on YouTube and uh, that talk I gave here four years ago really got a lot of people going over here it's just it was it was really heartening to see that people are starting to uh, embrace regenerative agriculture so I got to meet some really neat folks that uh, are excited for the first time in their life, um, they're doing something that's, they feel like they're, you know, there's there's hope. And uh, things are getting unbelievably, unbelievably better. 
Um, I met some people that are out wintering livestock here in England now, all winter long. Something that they thought that they could never do, but by you know moving them and getting the weights down on some of their livestock where they're not as big, and uh, they're finding out even on clay soils that they can do this, and that's a big one. You know when you can uh, outwinter your animals and not have them in a barn all winter. The biggest thing is your your manure and your urine. You're capturing that out on your paddocks. And uh, instead of just dumping it, you know, in a barn or in a barn lot somewhere. So, you know, they're under the gun like a lot of people. It's a uh, fuel. Fuel prices are exploding. Uh, fertilizer prices are going up. And a lot of people are starting to see the writing on the wall. I think that's why there's so many people here this year. I think there's going to be over 5,000. Uh, people are just starting to crank in here this morning and uh the cherries have really got this set up nice so it's going to be a fun day i'm looking forward to it i'm gonna go gather up my bride here in a little bit and we're gonna go have some breakfast and they've got some amazing amazing food here um yeah lots of lots of great food and we got to actually see him making the bread yesterday, the sourdough bread. Man, you talk about a crew. They had this pile of um, bread. It looked like it must have weighed 30, 40 pounds. Great big heap of it. And they were tearing chunks out of it and kneading it up and putting it in the oven. And they had like eight people working on it. And I mean, you know, to feed this many people, you gotta make a lot of bread and uh they were up for the task it looked to me like but uh yeah people are just now starting to get out and move around a little bit in the glamping area i see people coming out to brush their teeth and such but uh i've really really enjoyed my time here just in the first evening getting to talk with folks that are excited about regenerative agriculture that's just you know it's it's always nice to get away and recharge and then when you come back it allows you to see things a little bit differently you have a whole new bit of gusto because you know you get day in day out day in day out and it can kind of get to you i mean person needs to get away and um yeah that's what this is about. So anyway, uh, everyone have a good one and uh, we'll uh, see you down the road and uh, hit that subscribe button on the way out if you would. And uh, we'll see you next time.